Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of BSD Synergy. I'm your host, Mason Egger, and it's good to see y'all again. So, sorry for the delay. Um, what ended up happening was, between allergies and some other weird sickness that flew through, I essentially lost my voice for about a week and a half. Um, I could talk no more than about a whisper and was really hoarse. So I decided that I really couldn't do videos like that. So now I'm back and we're gonna continue where we left off, starting off with our beehive stuff. Now you may look at the title of this video and go, wait, I thought he was doing beehive. Well, yes, uh, I'm gonna do it in short segments. Um, and what we're gonna do today is we're going to set up a FreeBSD desktop because one, it's a, it's a topic that I have been wanting to cover for a while. And also since Beehive now does support VNC, we kind of need a way of being able to see our VMs while we're installing them. So setting up a FreeBSD desktop allows us to do this. So today we're gonna be installing GNOME on FreeBSD since GNOME is one of my favorites. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the demo. Okay, so you might hear in this video a little bit more fan noises than you normally do. So the behemoth has been set up. It's an old Dell PowerEdge T310. Um, and actually what it, I ended up having to do was install ESXi on it. Um, I originally wanted to do Beehive for it, but I ended up making the decision that for me to be able to actually show what's going on, I need some sort of system that allows me to video capture it on my laptop. And through the uh, VMRC client and on my Mac and all of that, I can easily do it in OBS and I don't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, it's slowing down or anything because none of the work's being done on my laptop. So we're actually gonna install FreeBSD inside of ESXi. And then what I'm gonna do from there is next time we're going to do Beehive inside of that FreeBSD on ESXi. It's gonna be really slow and it's not gonna to work too terribly great because we have two hypervisors, a hypervisor inside of a hypervisor. Um, but it's the best I could do since there's really not any good way of capturing VGA output and getting it all the way back to my Mac and then having this the, the time not sync up uh, because I have some stuff for like gaming capture, which I bought but never used because I don't game. I could have converted that and made it. It just, it just wasn't working out for me. So I feel like this is the best option. Uh, I like ESXi. You know, if that's, if you're going to, you know, go ahead. Right tools for the right job and seeing as how my job right now is to display and view and make these tutorials, then it really is a much better idea for me to have ESXi than it is for me to use Beehive. That being said, if I ever, whenever I get a production server for my apartment, um, I will definitely probably be using Beehive on it and not ESXi. So that being said, here we go. So the first thing you have to do is you have to install Xorg, which I'm not going to show you, just pkg install Xorg. Um, then we pkg install GNOME, and it's GNOME 3. And this is a big one. Uh, this will take quite a bit of time. Requires more than 2 gigs of space. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, so after all that long time, we have GNOME installed. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to edit the uh, Etsy FS tab because GNOME requires the slash proc uh, file system to be mounted. So we go, ah, my end key doesn't work. <coughs> uh, proc slash proc proc FS. RW00. Zero, zero. Yeah, used to been. And now we just simply have to edit a couple of things inside our rc.conf to get it to work. We do dbus enable equals yes. Hauled enable equals yes. GDM enable equals yes, and then GNOME enable equals yes. And now <clears throat> we can either uh, dang, do exec user local bin GNOME session to the uh, tilde slash x nrc, or we can reboot. I typically just reboot because then it tests 
it sets all that stuff up properly to begin with, and then it tests to make sure that I got all my RC uh, .conf stuff properly configured. So I'm going to reboot the system, and hopefully it'll come back with GNOME. user uh, for this so I was basically just using the root user and there we go we have gnome on FreeBSD some web browser files got all the gnome things to it so we do terminal yep root at bsd synergy you name dash a yep and it's our free bsd server so next week i will be installing beehive and we'll be doing beehive uh installing a free bsd server in beehive so thank you for watching this episode this week uh hope you liked it if you want to know how uh to get all of these desktop environments because it's not just gnome it supports kde xfce and all that um it's actually in the freebsd uh handbook uh section 5.7 the x window system and it's a really quick little walkthrough on how to install each and every one of them um uh, a lot easier than i anticipated i've actually never done a desktop system for bsd other than like using true os so that was pretty cool <clears throat> As I said earlier, next week we'll be installing Beehive and getting a FreeBSD server running inside of our FreeBSD server on my ESXi server. So it's going to be slow and clunky, but hopefully at least it'll work. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like. It really does help out. If you uh, want to come back and see some more and you haven't already, subscribe. Send it to your friends so they subscribe. I'm still actively getting subscribers, um, which is really nice. I really enjoy that. Uh, another announcement that I'm making is I am turning off all monetization on these videos because one the stupid adsense crap and said that like i've earned like no money since january and like i know people are watching the videos i see the view counts so i don't know what the hell's broken there also between the time that i started this which is june and if i uh, to now which and i look on youtube which youtube says i've made money adsense says i haven't whatever since the time that i've started doing all of this i've made maybe 16 dollars so like I said, it's not really, I'm not doing, you know, I'm never going to get rich off a of BSD uh, YouTube channel, not really planning on it. But honestly, for that little of return, and I bet the ads probably irritate some of you, YouTube video ads irritate me. Um, that's why I have YouTube Red. Well, it's not the only reason I have YouTube Red. I have the package so I can use Google Play Music. Um, so I'm just going to turn them off. Fuck it. If you want to give money and you want me to give money to the foundations, or you know what? Do this better. You give money to the foundations. You support them. I think OpenBSD is currently doing their uh, pledges right now, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, give them money. Or if you want to, you know, if you want to support the channel in another way, there's the link in the bottom to the PayPal. You can just, you know, send me a couple dollars. That'd be great. Don't feel obliged to. I'm definitely not asking you to. Um, but yeah, fuck ads. It's not working. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see y'all guys next week.